I almost want to say that I despair at how people cannot understand love. Paramahansa reportedly said by um, Priyananda, you should love God first. Then, with his love, love others. In loving people for themselves, rather than as manifestations of God, you might get attached. <laughs> oh my goodness. Of course you get attached. Love is not just service. It's not just serving others because you should. It's because they mean so much to you. Your whole heart wants to. If they mean that much to you, you are most certainly attached. I get attached to almost anyone I find has a serious need or anyone who appreciates me, which I suppose is to say they meet my need. Of course you should get attached to the one you love. Can you imagine loving your wife but not being attached to her? Oh. <laughs> How would she feel about that? How would you like to know that God is not attached to you? He doesn't mind if you don't exist. But if you do exist, he will shower you with blessings. But not love me. Oh, that is love. Just blessing people and giving them what they need. No, it's not. Love is to know in your heart you value, you appreciate because they are good for you. I know that I brought my mum joy and happiness. I know that I was the most important person in her world. I know that she was, thank God, attached to me, or she'd have committed suicide. I suppose I should be unhappy that I didn't let her go earlier. I don't know about that. Hmm. And the earlier bit, you should love God first. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then with his love, love others. No, 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 I don't vicarious love. I thought you loved me. I know God loves me. But if we don't love each other directly, oh, we're not a family. We're not a fellowship. The joy of heaven is to be amongst everyone that loves everyone. Certainly loves God and in some sense give him priority, of course. We're to love as he loves. Not love him and let him get on with it. And we just do, if you like, menial tasks of helping in the support of all those around us. You see, Paramahansa doesn't know, didn't know, what love was. He thought he did with his mum. But I think he lost her too young and in too big a family, and in an Indian culture, such that he didn't have what he needed to experience in love, which is to know how special you are as an individual to the person, how much you mean to them, direct. And that this 
is the reason for the love. Not that God loves them and therefore they've realized it's right to love you. No. They love you because of who you are. They value you. And that is their attachment to you. And that's wonderful. And when my wives have decided not to be attached, well, that's just terrible. It's true they unattached to God as well. Hmm. Well, that was terrible too, of course. Uh -huh. Love is personal. Of course, it's attachment. My mum would kill anyone that harmed me. <laughs> she was attached. <laughs> no, if God did not exist, still my heart wants to love all. I suppose because I've learnt how important love is. And if you lose your mum at the age of 11, oh gosh, I don't think you probably had enough experience of her love to get you through. And certainly he despaired to lose her, of course. Poor chap. Yeah. Kriyananda too was not able to really make marital relationships by the looks of it. Married twice. Doesn't look to be a great success. Didn't turn out to be the dramatic and intense love relationship that many of us have experienced in good marriages. Yep. Those who can do and those that can't teach. <laughs> That's a terrible saying that seems so true, doesn't it? If you want to be on the safe side, don't teach. But do answer questions if you're asked. Be as helpful as you can point out that uncertainty is legion in this universe. Well, the Jesus story has it, call no man teacher. No man lord, no man master, certainly no man guru. Hmm. I guess people don't follow Jesus. Perhaps they should. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. It occurred to me that if um, we loved people, not for themselves, but as manifestations of God, oh my goodness. If you're loving God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength, and this person's a manifestation of God, you're going to love him like Paramahansa and Kriyananda would have argued you should be devoted to your guru as an incarnation of God. Well, that's utterly attached then, isn't it? Beware of people that teach. I was. 
fascinated by them, listen carefully. But my goodness, have a critical mind. A critical mind will protect you from going down an awful lot of by roads. Ruin your sufficiency if you don't have a critical mind. I was doing four A levels. One chap was teaching two of them. I thought he was probably freewheeling into retirement. There wasn't much substantial preparation in his classes and talks, and he wasn't that able. A nice enough chap, but I thought, I'm not going to get the grades unless I do something better than this. So I got the textbook in both subjects, summarised it, learnt the summary. Well, summarised the summary, then learnt that. I did well. The others didn't. I'd learnt my lesson. You have to know when the teacher knows what he's talking about. Else you can probably do the study better on your own. How much more that is when it comes to spiritual matters. The priest or the Bible college lecturer or whatever. Uh, I don't think so. You're taught of the Holy Spirit and your earnest endeavour. Thank you, Dad. Love you. Thank you, Dad.